Which one is better, AMD or Intel? Well, it kind of depends on what you're using it for and what your budget may be. Are you looking for the best possible gaming performance or are you looking for something that gives decent gaming performance along with solid multitasking capabilities without breaking the bank? Well, today I'm going to explain the positives and negatives of each brand and help you get a better understanding on which CPU you might want to consider when building your next gaming PC or workstation. To kick things off, let's take a look at Team Blue. Intel CPUs have the upper hand when it comes to single core performance, which, in short, allows them to provide you with the best possible gaming experience. They also have incredible high-end multi-core processors that make multitasking a breeze. But all of this comes at a great price, quite literally. While Intel CPUs may be the obvious choice when it comes to providing you with the best performance on the market, they're definitely not easy on your wallet. Intel CPUs on average cost quite a bit more than their AMD counterparts, and in a lot of situations, a small boost in performance just isn't worth the high price tag. On the other side, we have the red team. AMD has always been the budget-friendly CPU brand. While they may not beat Intel when it comes to the best possible performance, they come pretty close in a lot of ways. Over the past few years, AMD has made massive strides in the quality and performance of their CPUs with the release of you know, their Ryzen series processors. These processors do a really good job at gaming and multitasking and do it for a really good price. With the price per core being much cheaper than Intel, it allows you to spend a little bit more on a processor with more cores, which in turn makes it the better choice when it comes to multitasking. The more cores you have, the more tasks your computer can handle at the same time, which makes AMD my go-to when it comes to streaming. Now, just because you're able to get more cores when buying an AMD brand CPU, that doesn't mean you should get a CPU with tons of cores. Most games are designed to only use around four to six cores, which means you're really not able to maximize your performance based on the amount of cores that you may have. This is AMD's weakness due to the fact that their performance per thread is not quite as good as Intel brand CPUs. Because of this, I do prefer Intel over AMD when it comes to gaming. So after all that being said, which CPU should you get? Well, if you want to do high-end gaming while streaming, I would go with something like an Intel i7-8700K or i9-9900K. Or if you're on a budget but still want a good gaming and streaming experience, I would try out something like the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, or you could shave off a few more bucks and go with the first gen Ryzen 7 1700X. But if you want the best possible streaming performance along with the best possible gaming performance, I personally will look at a dual PC setup with Intel running the gaming rig and AMD running the streaming rig. Now, whether you choose Intel or AMD, just know that you're getting a good CPU either way. Team Red and Team Blue both provide excellent choices for gaming and multitasking. So if you do your research before you buy, you shouldn't have too much to worry about. Well, unless you just really want to squeeze out those few extra frames or, you know, take your gaming buddy out to a steak dinner. So what are your thoughts? Do you side with Team Red or the Blue Team? Also, what would your dream PC look like? Would it have something like an Intel i9 core processor in it or a Ryzen CPU? Let me know in the comments below. Also guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great night, wherever you are. Until next time, peace out.